Hey everyone, so this is my week 10 and 11 update for my second pregnancy. Sorry, I'm doing another two weeks in one, but I have been so busy and I've had so much just going on and I've had some pretty crazy symptoms, so I just really haven't felt up to sitting down and making a video. So here's my update. So today I am 11 weeks, three days pregnant, and my symptoms for last week were, well, they're pretty much the same for this week, but I had terrible morning sickness continuing from my previous videos when I've talked about that. So I did actually go and see a doctor to see whether or not they could prescribe me for something to help with the nausea and the vomiting and they weighed me and everything and I had lost nine pounds in just shy of two weeks. So that was obviously a huge concern. So they put me on, they gave me a shot of gravel actually while I was in the office and then they sent me home with a prescription of, I'm not quite sure actually what it was but it was just to take for a couple of days and then also taking now, well, also I was taking with that diclectin and gravel, and it was a kind of gravel that's made from ginger, so it's kind of like a, just like an all-natural gravel, and it's non-drowsy, and it does seem to help quite a bit. I've been sick once since taking the medication, but I don't feel nauseous throughout the day, and I'm able to eat, and I've gained back three of the pounds that I lost, so that's good. So I'm glad to be feeling a lot better now. Um, one of the first things the doctor said to me when I was talking to her and explaining to her about all my symptoms and what was going on, and she said, are you sure you're not having a multiple pregnancy? So this is now the third doctor that has said to me, you know, and asked me if I was having a multiple pregnancy. So I said, you know, I've had an ultrasound already and they only saw one baby. But uh, she took a look at the ultrasound and said that because it was done so early on, there is a chance that they could have missed a baby or if the development was slightly behind, they may not have been able to see everything. And also because I guess I'm so early in the pregnancy that the baby or babies was so low down that it's quite hard to see. So if one baby like if the way that they were positioned was that one was lower than the other baby, then it may not have been possible to see that baby. So I am going to have another ultrasound to see if I am expecting more than one baby. So that is a possibility again, as you heard in my previous videos. And still my intuition still tells me, like deep down I feel like I'm having more than one baby. Like I really feel like I'm having... A boy and a girl but we'll see I definitely could be wrong I'm sorry I keep looking up but I'm just watching Eva on the the monitor she's down for her nap other than that I have still been so exhausted Steve was home so he was able to help me with Eva thank goodness because I have just been totally bagged and I have just had to take naps and be laying down a lot and I've just oh I just can't even explain how exhausted I am so I've been going to bed at like 7 o'clock at night, 6.30, 8 o'clock. I think the latest I stayed out one night was 11, and that was just way too late for me. So that's definitely still a symptom for me, but I'm hoping that that will really ease up in the second trimester because being this tired is really hard and having a little baby. And other than that, I have had really bad headaches which I'm not really somebody who gets headaches normally, so that's kind of an annoying thing. But I also know that a symptom that can, well, I guess like a side effect of taking diclectin can be headaches, so it could definitely be from that, but there's not much I can do about that. Other than that, my back is still really sore, and I have started getting sciatic pain again on my left side. So laying in bed at night is not overly comfortable, but... Hopefully, I guess, I only have, you know, another two trimesters and a couple weeks to go. 
Uh, I had to deal with that through my whole first pregnancy, so I guess it's just going to be something I'm going to have to deal with through this pregnancy also. And other than that, I have had so many cravings, and I've been craving orange crush pop like you wouldn't believe. So if my teeth are looking a little bit orange, just because I just drank a can of it. I can't stop drinking it. It's like the worst craving for me. And mandarin oranges are crazy. Like I've been eating so many mandarin oranges, it's unbelievable. Uh, if you like, if you're a fan of my Facebook page, then you'll see all my little craving updates. So if you haven't liked me on Facebook, make sure that you go ahead and do that. Mommy of one and counting. And I post lots of pictures and I have lots of updates. So when I'm not making videos, there will always be updates on that page as well. So that's about it for my update. I think next week. Yeah, next week, because I'll be 12 weeks, I am going to go to see my OB and have my checkup, and then I will make a video of the heartbeat, so I can post that on here. I have tried with my own Doppler to listen to the heartbeat, but I'm having a hard time finding it, which I did with my first baby as well, because the quality of it's pretty good, but it's not as good as the ones that they use through the doctor. So... I didn't, I couldn't really hear anything until about 15 weeks. Plus I think the baby's still quite low, or babies are still quite low. So I'm very excited to hear the heartbeat and yeah. And really it's like I'll be 12 weeks next week and then I think between 16 and 17 weeks I can find out the sex of the baby. So in January I should know the sex of the baby. So we're very excited for that and to start planning for the baby and buying all the things that we need for the baby so that's really exciting and I would like to take a minute to thank all my new subscribers I'm sorry initially I started thanking each one of you for subscribing to me but I've had so many new people subscribing so thank you so much for subscribing and for watching my videos and for all of your kind comments that you write, I really, I really do appreciate them. And Steve appreciates them as well, and he does read them. So they're great. So thank you. And I will be doing a video with kind of all the old wives' tales about guessing the sex of the baby. So look for that. And I will be doing my A Day in the Life of video the next time Steve comes home. So he's home on the 7th, so expect... Probably about the 9th or the 10th, I will be posting a video of a day in the life. And if you have any other video suggestions for me, just type them below and I'll be sure to make something. Okay, thank you for watching. Oh, actually, before I do that, I better show you my belly. Okay, so here is my 11 week baby belly and from the front and about the shirt And I am about almost 37 inches round. There we go. So thanks for watching.